regression number 5. So the solenoid shown here is moved at a constant velocity towards a fixed bar magnet. Okay, so this is the fixed bar magnet. Using Lenz law, state the direction of the induced current through the resistor. Okay, so Lenz law is all about opposing the change that is producing it. Okay, so if this uh, solenoid is moved to this fixed bar magnet here, to this permanent magnet here, the based on Lenz law, it will always try to oppose the change, and this here wouldn't be a north pole. Okay, so uh, what they are trying to do is the movement should somehow create a south pole here so that it oppose the change that is producing it hence this here will be our south pole and this one here will be our north pole so why do we need that is because we are going to use the right hand grip rule to consider where is the direction of the current flowing okay so the thumb is basically telling us the direction of the north pole and the rest of the fingers is telling us the current okay so the direction of the current okay so if you look at this the current should be going pointing downwards lah, okay so this is gonna be something like this okay so the current will be pointing like this okay and then it will then go up into this coil here um, okay, sala sala. Good job. Let me double check. So the north pole. So the current. Oh, the balik. It should be this one. Okay. So the current will be going like this, and then up to here. Then go like this. This one is also the same. And then we have this one. So this is gonna point up lah. Okay? Boleh ka macam tu? Hopefully you get the way to do it using the right hand grip rule lah. Okay? Salah pula. Miss Lukis jari dia. Patut lah. Jari kita sepatutnya di sebelah situ <laughs> but it's okay okay actually okay so the current is gonna flow this way lah okay this is the um direction of the induced current okay okay now question b a 200 turns of solenoid so this is 200 with a length of 20 centimeter has a cross-sectional area of 20 centimeter square so a current of 5 ampere flows through the solenoid we have to calculate the magnetic field at the axis of the solenoid and then the total flux linkage passing through the solenoid and the self inductance of the solenoid okay so all of this are just basically applying the formula that we've uh, studied in chapter 5 here lah, okay so for solenoid kamu tengok lah, uh, where in the notes is for solenoid okay Contohnya, for this one, self-inductance is by using this one. Okay, so everything is just the application of the formula. is the usage of the formula to solve the problem. Okay, so magnetic field on top solenoid is just mu naught and I over L. That one is in the first few subtopics. I think, is it here? Hmm, I'm not sure where is it, but yes, just find where the one untuk magnetic uh untuk solenoid lah, okay? So that one is this one, and then we are gonna use six. Uh, the answer is gonna be six point two eight times ten negative three Tesla. Actually, let me double check. Is it in chapter four? Because I feel like it is in chapter four, if I'm not mistaken. This one can kita guna eh mana tu? Uh, I think it's in chapter 4 lah untuk solenoid. This one, magnetic field for a solenoid. Okay, okay. so question Roman 2 pula. Uh, the total flux linkage is just uh, N phi lah where phi is BA cos theta. And this will give us 2.51 times 10 negative 3 Weber. Okay, alright. Now question 3. 
the self inductance of the solenoid is uh, self inductance of the solenoid kenapa dia I'm referring to the answer schema I'm just gonna double check with the notes so the self inductance for the solenoid is gonna be this equation lah okay so that is l mu naught n square a over length of the solenoid and this will give us 5.03 times 10 negative 4 henry okay well yeah that is uh question number five lah